Hi guys, it's Tyler here. And of course I'm not wearing pajama pant bottom. Okay, you know what, actually I am wearing pajama pant bottoms underneath my desk. Can you blame me though? It's Saturday at the time of filming this and they're actually really cool. Look, I'll actually show you guys. They're Dunder Mifflin pajama <laughs> Hopefully that cheered you guys up a little bit today because today we're talking about something which is unfortunate and that is Elementor stopped loading. Maybe your Elementor plugin is not loading or maybe it's your entire website is just not loading and you're getting maybe a blank screen, some kind of error or WordPress just isn't working correctly. While this might be somewhat rare, the situation unfortunately does happen and it's even a search term in YouTube, which is unfortunate. Now, while I personally have never experienced this issue on my website, I have done a lot of research about fixes and solutions for this problem, and I wanna share those with you today. But before we jump in, this is very important. Remember that if you have Elementor Pro or Elementor Cloud, you have access to Elementor support. This means you're able to reach out to them via chat, and then you can even set up a support ticket for their devs to look at if it's a bigger issue. I personally have used Elementor support, and they even sent devs into my website to tinker around a little bit, and they fixed the problem within a few hours of looking at it. If you're if you're still using Elementor free version, I highly recommend you check out that link down below in the description and either get the Elementor Pro plugin, which will come with support, and that's the, also the premium features of Elementor Pro, or Elementor Cloud, which is also all the features and premium support of Elementor Pro, but also hosting along with it. So if you're in need of hosting, I recommend Elementor Cloud. If you're not, just go with Elementor Pro and you'll have access to that Elementor support. This may just be the only thing that works for you and they may be able to actually help you figure out what the issue is. Now let's talk about other common solutions that work for other people and see if any of these work for you. First and foremost is you need to see if you have a backup of your website. There's a chance it might just be as simple as restoring to a backup of a previously working version of your website. And for my Elementor Cloud users, you guys obviously have those automatic daily backups for the past 14 days, always. Having access to a backup version of your site might be the most helpful and the easiest and quickest solution for you if you can just restore to a previously safe point. If not, let's talk about some other solutions that might work for you. Before we make any big changes to your site, I do recommend making a manual backup of your site and make sure it doesn't erase a previous backup that you have just make sure that you're making a new backup and setting it aside in case we need to go back to it or in case we make any future changes that make the matter worse. Let's talk about one of the fastest ways to actually get the Elementor editor to load back up if that's the only issue that you're facing. First, from your WordPress dashboard, log in with your admin account and then hover over Elementor on the left and go to Tools. From here, go ahead and enable Safe Mode and enable the debug bar and then hit Save Changes. Now to see if this is working, just go over to pages and go ahead and start editing any page with Elementor. You'll notice if it loads up, it says safe mode is on here. And if it successfully loaded, that means that the issue is probably within your website theme or your plugins running on your site. If it somewhat loads up and you're able to access the screen and see this message, you can actually click here if you're experiencing other problems and it'll take you to a help page on elementor.com. If that wasn't the issue, let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and then logged into our admin account in WordPress. We can go ahead and hover over our website, click up here to go to the home page, and then up here in the admin bar, you'll notice this Elementor debugger. This will show us two pieces of information, the page template and what page template is actually being loaded, and then the theme. And this is also gonna show you any kind of theme that's being loaded into the site. So if there's any kind of complication here or mix up or confusion, you can kind of figure that out based on what, it, what information it's giving you right here. If that doesn't work, but you're able to load up WordPress still, let's go into the next step, which would be checking your PHP version. PHP is a code language that runs the majority of your WordPress website so you'll wanna make sure that the version you're running on is the latest and most up-to-date. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go over to Tools, hover over and click Site Help. Now it's gonna give me a general checkup on my site and make sure that the health is good, which you can see right up here at the top. But what we wanna do is go ahead and click the Info tab, and then we're gonna scroll down and go to Server. 
Now from here you can see it tells us about the server, the operating system, the version, things like that. What we're looking for right here is the PHP version. For us, that's 7.4.26. We're gonna go into Google now and look up the latest PHP version. Here on the official PHP website, php.net, you can see that the official version right here that was released in November of 2021 is 8.1. So technically our PHP is out of date. Obviously I'm not experiencing any of the issues so I don't have to worry about that. But if you are experiencing the issues and you think that it could potentially be a PHP issue because you've tried all the other options, contact your web host and see if they can get you upgraded to a other version or a newer version of PHP. While you're talking to your web host, I would mention that you want to upgrade PHP versions because of the problem that you're facing and see if they have any recommendations. Maybe there's some kind of host specific solutions that they have based on what host your website is on. An example of that would be a host that offers server-side caching. Now we're going to talk about caching here as the next step. Server-side caching is done on the server and actually with your host. And if that's causing the issue, you may want to talk to your host about that. But probably a more common scenario is a WordPress cache plugin. Now to put a cache in very simple terms, it's basically already compiling your website and delivering a copy that's all packaged up and bundled to your visitors so that when they actually visit the site, they can just get the bundled package instead of having to load everything in and have the whole program work again to build the site. It just makes it a lot faster, but it means that maybe you've made changes and the changes aren't working. Maybe the editor's not fully loading because it's being cached out. There could be many issues. So what we wanna do is actually disable the cache. These are some of the most common cache plugins that I see used and I've actually used some myself, but almost all of them have settings to actually disable the cache. And if they don't, you could technically go into your plugin list and actually disable that plugin. After you have turned off your cache or disabled the cache altogether, go ahead and reload your site and see if that has fixed the problem. Now the last solution that I wanna talk about may have a little bit more to do with running WooCommerce on Elementor versus just just normal websites designed with Elementor, but it's very simple. You just go over to Elementor. Under the settings in Elementor, you'll go over to the advanced tab and just switch switch editor loader method and click that to enable and then save changes. Now, if you are running a WooCommerce site, unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly how this is going to fix your issue that you're facing, but this should be the first step in the right direction and you should go back to the problem, reassess it, see if it's still happening or if you're getting now new information about the issue that you're facing. Now guys, my top recommendation and to make this process a whole lot easier is just go directly to Elementor and get the support that they offer. If you guys haven't upgraded yet, definitely check out the link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro or Elementor Cloud if you need the hosting as well and get that premium support. Imagine if this issue takes you hours and hours and hours. It would probably be worth more for you and your time to just go ahead and upgrade and also get all the premium benefits of Elementor Pro. So I highly recommend you check out that link See what kind of price you can get for it. It is a fantastic price, even just for the support alone, but it comes with all the other premium features of Elementor Pro. This would be my number one recommended solution because there's just a wide variety of issues that you could run into based on different plugins you have installed, different themes, different PHP versions, all these things but you can go to Elementor and actually get support right from them. I've done it, it's worked out fantastic for me. They were able to get my site up and running in just a few hours and it was fantastic and worked like a charm. And to close, just a quick message from me, stay positive, keep your head up. I know how frustrating this can be. I've dealt with it many, many times over my programming coding career. I know how difficult it can be, but just stay positive. There is a solution out there if you can just find it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, especially if this helped you, please drop that like. And also guys, if I could ask a big favor, comment down below, let me know the issue that you were facing and if you were able to find a solution that would really help me, but also your fellow peers that are looking for solutions in the YouTube comments. Drop that down below if you can. It would help us all out a lot. Thank you guys so much. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't and have a great rest of your day. Take care guys.